Hey, I'm Justy Blocks and we're back in Creatures of Sonoria and it feels like it's been an eternity. It hasn't, it's been about two weeks. I'm feeling much better, thank you for those who have asked. Uh, we are back in the game, my voice is back, which is a good start. I may disappear every now and again to cough because I've still got a little bit of a cough left. Um, but it is clearing up slowly but surely. So, what's happened in Creatures of Sonoria since I've been away? Quite a lot, in fact. Quite a lot indeed. So if we go to buy creatures, if I'm correct, we got... Now this looks new. The Mutation Explorer Gacha. Because we had this one. We had the Galaxy one, right? And then we had the, the Photo Vore. But now we've got a third one. Wait, I thought you... Ooh, who it, there's lots of things I need to find and get. Um, so yeah, we've got this one now. So that's new. Uh, we've got new limiteds. So we've got those two there. This one looks really interesting just from the thumbnail. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I don't look at creatures before they're, they're in-game. Because I don't want to spoil it. So I want my reaction to be natural. and uh, So I don't look at these. So this is the first I'm seeing is this tiny little thumbnail here. And that one looks very interesting, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have to try and get some shrooms to get that. We've also got... We, that's not it. There is more. If we go back out of here... I presume none of these have changed. I haven't actually checked these. Time gatchers look the same. They haven't had anything in the time gatcher for ages. I feel like the time gatchers are being neglected. I, but I say that. People need to play the game to get these. So, and not being funny, like, that one, is it? 15,000. If you look at the top right, I've got 1,867. So, not even close. Uh, yeah. So, there's those still to get. Uh, Robux Gatchers, that's the same too. I I'd love to see more of these added because these were really cute, like, plushy style creatures. And I think they're both adorable and the models are lovely. I would really like to see a couple more added to that. And it's not... 150 Robux isn't that expensive. So I think this one was very reasonable. And I would like to see more in there. Uh, but we've also got the Christmas event going on. Um, so if we go up here to this bell. This Christmas bells. Which I presume we can collect in-game. We can also buy them for Robux. Again. Fairly reasonably priced. This one thing I've noticed with Sonar, is, uh, Sonar games recently is the pricing is quite reasonable like I, I you can't complain at these prices if we go to creatures these are the two creatures available again this is the first time i've seen them that one looks a bit turkey like from here it's oh it's not turkey wait is that the holly one have they just bought i have no idea absolutely oh, that one looks really cool as well i need all of these and there's a plushie as well there's coal a piece of coal if you've been a naughty boy, you can get a piece of coal. That's only 200 bells. I don't know how easy bells are to get. We will find out as we go forward. Let's decide which creature we're going to do today. We still have quite a few we haven't looked at yet. I'm tempted to have a look at the, the Lush, Lush, Lush Adark. I've probably said that completely wrong and anyone who watches the channel knows <laughs> to expect that from me. I really like that the look at that one. We've also got the we've also got the cottle, haven't we? Cottle, which is like a zombie sheep with evil eyes. Uh, we've got the giraffe plant thing, which maybe we'll do that one. Maybe we'll do this one, the citrulantis. Citrulantis. Yeah, we're gonna do the citrulantis just because I want to see. Um, what sort of colours we can do this and can we make it much different to what it is? Because let's be fair, it's very watermelon themed and what if we didn't want it that? Let's see what we can do. So the Citrulantis are tall, thin, plant-like creatures that are very flighty. They are alarmed by the smallest sound and are quick to jump away. They bounce like deers, skipping when running. Their small curly tongue is used like a straw to slurp up water. Okay, let's jump in. Let's see the bigger model of this. Let's get up close and personal with it. I'm looking at that palette going. That, that's very watermelon colored palette there. Like, look at those eyes. 
that's quite a bizarre looking... Like, the body? Do you know what? I can get on board with that. And then I'm looking at the face. And I'm not entirely sure what's what there. It's quite an unusual looking creature. As always, I'm going to come up with three colour schemes. Try my best with that not very varied palette, if I'm honest. I'm going to give it my best. Whilst I'm doing that, if you enjoy this episode at all, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. So, what did we end up with? Well, I, I imagine this creature lives in, in the forest, eating the leaves on the top of the trees, a bit like a giraffe. Um, so, we very much, the first colour scheme I came up with was a nice green one that sort of blends in. We've called this one the Red-Eyed Green Tip. Uh, for obvious reasons, it's got green tips. Yes, it's completely green, but it's got lighter green tips. And it's got a red eye of sorts. I really like, like, one colour in different shades. Like, anyone who watches the channel knows how I colour. I tend to do one colour and do different shades, which is really nice. Uh -huh. Wait till we get to the last skin. I've very much blown that out of the water. So, yeah, this is the red-eyed green tip. Then I wanted to try something a bit different. So, the next one's called the autumn red tip. And this is the autumn red tip. And I think this works really well. I was going to do all red, but I went... No, I, I thought I'd try this sort of greenish... Greenish, mossy sort of colour. Um, and it just set it off beautifully. I think that is... I just think it works so nicely. That's probably my favourite out of the three skins. Uh, I really like how that one turned out. And finally, <laughs> finally, I have uh, blew it out the water with the rainbow pipped. Yep, the rainbow pipped is just ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, fun, and there's something very nice about it. I really like these pastel colours. Uh, to do this, I've used, um, if you go to the palettes, you've got all the palettes. Um, you can actually play around with these without buying them. So, uh, this one costs two tickets. Um, but I've used the demo, which has allowed me to do the skin. Obviously, if I want to play it as the skin, I'm going to have to buy the, the palette. Otherwise, I'm guessing it'll just revert back to normal colours. Maybe not. Because I do remember in the last episode I did before I was ill, um, I did it, went out, came back in to avoid that glitch thing where the colours of the skins cross over so for example we're looking at the rainbow pipped one, the purple might stay when I go back to the red eyed green tip so I went out, came back in and forgot to put the palette on, so when we went into the game it was a brown colour scheme not the one I designed at all but again not the standard one so it would be interesting to see what this turns out like in game, would it be standard or would it give me a completely different colour scheme like that other creature. Uh, but I do think my favourite is the Autumn Dread Tip. So we're probably going to play as that. Is there a difference between... Oh, there is. There is a difference. So females, if we look on the head here, underneath the head, they've got these little dangly bits. Males don't have that. Males have a giant mane. A giant flower mane. Do I like male or female? I quite like both, actually. Very much both of them. I like the female with just the ear. I'm going to go female. Not unusual. It's normally our go-to choice is the females. But in this case, I do actually like both versions. Male and female. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite skin. Is it the red-eyed green tip? Is it the autumn red tip? Or is it the rainbow pipped? Uh, yeah, let me know. And let's jump in. Let's see what this thing can do. We're in, it's night time, and it's also winter. Oh, look, we look so odd. We're just like this skinny little tall baby. I love the red on the belly there. That works really nicely. I actually like it as a... Oh, it's actually quite cute. Look at that face with those giant eyes. Okay, this is definitely cuter than I was expecting it to be. Animation-wise... It's okay. The legs don't seem to move as fast as we're moving, which is almost giving us the effect of sliding more than walking. It's a nice animation. The legs are moving beautifully. 
but something's off. It feels, as I say, it feels more like we're sliding. Let's see what happens when we run. Yeah, see, that feels less slidey because that's more in time. The animation with the speed. They are quite quick. I like it. Where are we? Wait, 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 wait. We're in the desert oasis. Well, all this candy canes. I didn't. Uh oh. Mr. Ken, can you. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. I wanted to see the candy canes. I'm going to go over here. Oh, it's all changed since I was in. Look at this. There's decorations everywhere. That is so cool. And we don't need food. Because we're a plant, we only need water and sunlight. Which is lovely. Wait, have they added trees over here? Look at the giant presents. or oh, creatures. There wasn't always trees around this oasis, was there? They've upgraded. They've updated. Look. Oh, this looks lovely with the plants around it. That's very nice. Oh, look at the melted snowman. Poor snowman. Have they changed anything else? I don't know. Did these plants always come out this far? Things have been changing. Ooh, what's in here? Um, that is a snowman who looks like it's going to eat me. So we're probably going... Is that how I get my bells? By taking on that snowman? Okay, well, we'll do that later once we've fully grown. I want to see this thing fully grown first. It is a tier one, if I'm correct. Uh, tier one, yes. No, tier three. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Press the right button. Um, tier three. Okay, so we're a tier three. Run away. What? Why shooting at me? Some the cave, the wall is shooting at me. That is extreme. Wait, 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 wait. So it shoot it fires the balls so we know where the target is. How do I don't even know if I can get up there as this? I'm gonna have to walk all the way around and hope I don't get shot. I thought I'd go exploring, that'll be fine. Luckily, we're a baby, so we're not too tall for this cave. La la la. It's got quite a happy little walk, really. Oh, we can go up there, can we? Yes, we can. I'm a coming up. I'm a coming up. Ooh, ooh, gift. That's a glowy gift. Can we pick that gift up? Trivia. What ability does... Oh my god, I need trivia? Um... I have no idea. What ability does the... Uh, um, bleed. Yes! Good guess. And that was a clear guess. I had no idea on that one. What did we get for that? I have no idea. What's up here that's supposed to be shooting us? Oh, God. Trivia? My memory's awful. I'm not going to be good at trivia. What have we got in here? Oh, look. So we've got an apple, deer, and we've got a melon giraffe. I don't know what was shooting at me, though. Clearly the melon giraffe, but the apple deer killed it. Or maybe it was the apple deer shooting at me. We're being attacked. We're being attacked. By a plant creature. Why is a plant creature attacking me? Oh, people haven't got any nicer in this game, I see, while well, I've been away. Like, he's a plant. Clearly, he has no reason to attack me. I cannot see a thing. This fog is so good. Look at this. Okay, I'm a little excited and in love with this game again. <laughs> That's a really nice fog. It's a little hard to see, but that's fine. That means that plant creature can't eat me when he tries to. Oh, and look at that sunset. 
We have aged up. We're looking a bit more... A bit more plant-like now, should I say. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we're looking a bit more like, but it's a bit more of something. We are very shiny, the material they've used. Like, really shiny. We look like we're made of... Plastic? Foiled? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's shy. Oh, there's a present. Oh, present. What are you going to give me? Oh, oh. What? How is that a present? Oh, no. There's that plant creature again. Run away. <laughs> is he chasing me? I'm going to leave him to the snowman. Oh, there's another present. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I've done a few of these now. Sometimes it gives you a bell. At one time it spawned that massive killer snowman. And then I've had a couple of trivial ones, which I've answered correctly every time. But it, I, I don't know what that does. I don't know if it gives us anything. I'm sure I'll find out at some point. What ability does the Venerox have? Venerox. Um, I'm going to say... Necro poison? I don't know. None? I'm going to go none. Ah, oh, correct answer. Breath. Oh, well, that was the first one I got wrong out of the trivia one. So that's okay. My guessing's been good so far. We should probably get a drink. Which I love this. We look like a giraffe. Look how we spray our legs, uh, spread our legs to the sides like that. So we can get lower. That's very nice. I can't do it again because I'm already full of water. This thing needs water to survive. Well, it's really not designed to be in water. It does not swim the greatest. It looks nice when it's swimming. I really enjoy the animations. But, yeah. Not a viable option. Oh, oh, is that another present? I'm a coming. I'm a coming. I love running around with this creature. It looks so happy when it runs. It's like, la, la, la. Okay. Oh, oh, something's attacking. Um, What ability does the... Gyrodos have. Um, uh oh. Things are attacking me. Um, bleed? Uh, none? Wait, Gyrodos. That's the big. I'm going to go bleed. Yes! Again, no idea what we're getting for getting it correct. I'm stuck now. There's another present. These things are everywhere. Uh, what a bit does the uh, Crypt Prick have? Um, I don't know. If I had to guess, either none or necro poison. Um, necro poison. Bleed. Oh, it's got a bleed. Okay. Yeah, I'm never going to get all these right, ever. I need to do my homework. That didn't do anything. Oh, it did. It made a giant snowman. Wait, there's a present by the snowman. So many presents. Can I have this? Oh, bells. I need the bells. Why are the bells floating? No, no. Bell. That's one. My bells. Two. Lovely. Goodbye, Mr. Snowman. I'm going to leave you up there. So here we are, fully grown, looking all right. I think I prefer it as a baby. I think it's adorable as a baby. I think it's just bizarre looking as an adult, if I'm honest. It's quite an unusual creature. So let's check out some of the things. So, cores. Core number one. Core number two. Core number three. And core number four. And let's have a look what else we got. So if we sit down. Oh, become an elder. Do it. There we go. Why not? Bigger and better. So when we sit down, we... That's a very odd way of sitting. What? What? Is that how giraffes sit? I... To be honest, I've never seen a giraffe sit. But I find that's very odd. The legs just sort of <laughs> go out. It looks like it's doing a press-up. And one press-up and two press-ups. Tell me you look better led down. Oh, you do the dead wasp on a windowsill thing. <laughs> yep, very much dead wasp on a windowsill. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So maybe the aggro and that's going to save it. So aggro. 
Yes, okay, I like that. Its legs are wider, so it makes it feel bigger. Uh, it's trying to be a sort of a bit ferocious, make a lot of noise. I can't see this as a fighter. I'd imagine that is more of a tactic to scare the creature off than fight it. Um, and if we cower, we go, oh, wow, your head goes really low. Wait, so if I'm on flat ground, is your head going to go into the ground? Because I think that was perfectly placed there. Let's try this again. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it goes right. That, that's really low. That's like smack, smack bang on the floor. Lovely. And do we have an N animation? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Again? Okay. It's a bit of a... If a cartoon deer led down and rubbed in the dirt, that's what they would look like. <laughs> yeah, a bit odd. A bit odd all round. But an enjoyable creature. Wait. Are we glowing? Are we supposed to glow? Ooh. It's all glowy. Is it glowing or is it just bright? I don't know. I have no idea. I like it though. I, oh, that present's not walkthrough. The candy canes are the presents are not. I do like all the little Christmas additions to the, the map. And some of the changes, like the plants around the oasis, makes it feel like an oasis instead of a sort of hole of water in the desert. Which I know that's sort of what an oasis is. But when you think of it, you think of a luscious green area in a desert, not just a hole with water in it. So much better improvement if you ask me. This creature, I quite enjoy it. It's a nice creature for exploring the map and running around. I'm not going to lie. Because it only needs water. Nothing's really sort of taken a dislike into me. I've only been attacked once. So yeah. Overall, I quite enjoy this creature. Would I play as it a lot? Mm, swings and roundabouts. I think there's a lot better creatures. I think there's worse creatures as well. Let me know what you think about this creature in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you again.